Hi everyone, welcome to MNC Gamers. Hope you're all doing good, having a good Saturday. We're just going to continue on with Life is Strange. I'm really enjoying this game to be honest. I think we're now going on to episode 3. In the previous episodes of Life is Strange. Whoa. I call the film Little Pieces of Time. Because Max wants everybody to see I'm so sick you. of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please, get me out of here! Max! Nobody cares about me. Nobody. <laughs> What are you doing here, Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Coffee, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. What the hell is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week. I'm really sad about what happened to Kate. It's even worse as well knowing that you could have saved her, do you know what I mean? So I need to be very, very careful going forward. Make sure I make the right decisions. Martin's beside me at the moment playing Ghost of Tsushima and he's brought up some crisps. <laughs> nice. Chloe would be all over this, so I better get moving. Wonder what she's going to show us. I still can't stop thinking about Kate. It's like I'm awake in a bad dream. There's been so much going on, I almost forgot about the eclipse. Ugh, all this atmospheric action can't be a coincidence. Sorry, Lisa. Too much water. I can't even keep my plant alive, much less Kate. Glad the media doesn't waste a second exploiting tragedy. Now Kate's family has to see their daughter's death all over the web like a cat video. And I'm even in this one. Oh, that makes me ill. Hmm. 
Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. I shouldn't sound so disappointed. This is such a moving piece of cut-and-paste Blackwell bullshit. Nobody here had Kate's back. Too little, too late. Dear Max Caulfield, as you're no doubt aware, Blackwell Academy lost a valued and beloved student this week with the tragic death of Kate Marsh. Everyone who encountered, encountered Kate, from faculty to student body, remember her as a kind, intelligent and talented person with a bright future. The staff of Blackwell Academy understands the social and academic trauma that comes with a public incident such as this, and we believe it's vital that we hear directly from the students about their thoughts and concerns. We encourage you to call our 24 hour hotline 1800 Blackwell to speak with a professional counsellor no matter what your question or situation might be. In other words, Blackwell Academy has your back, Principal Wales. Yes, now everybody loves Kate Marsh. They bullied her and now post their feels? Hypocrites. Man, I really turned a molehill into a mountain. I feel bad for Mr. Jefferson about this. Either I delete my page or I block everybody. Nowhere to hide these days. Everybody will be talking about Kate now. Blackwell might have... Kate, I swear I will use all of my power to find out who really pushed you off that roof. Ew. Thanks for the image, Nathan. And everybody here thinks Samuel is a creeper? You know you're hurting when you don't give a shit about music. No way can I clean that shit off. Time to get Samuel da Vinci to repaint. Pretty hard to focus on my class schedule this week. I wonder why. Okay, we'll leave then. Go and meet Chloe. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... Oh god. So much hypocrite. God, that's like some awful TV crime scene in our dorm. This is my prayer for you, Kate. Bless your gentle soul. Kate, I would give up my power if I could have another rewind to save you. I won't rest until we find out the truth, and somebody pays for this. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? I just can't stop thinking about Kate, and if this is my fault, too. I knew she was depressed, but I had no idea how bad. It must be serious to throw yourself off the roof. So why do you think she was on the roof in the first place? Maybe Kate was so ashamed she got wasted on that video. I don't blame her, but it was pretty gross. Come on, you really believe that Kate Marsh wanted to get drunk at a Vortex Club party? So what exactly are you saying, Max? I know Jefferson got reamed by the principal. Do you think they're involved? I'm not sure yet, but I'm on it. Weird shit is going down at Blackwell, and I'm going to find out why. I'm getting scared now, but people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Aw, Trevor is a sweetie. Good for Dana. Hey Dana, I've been thinking about you all day and know how shitty it was to see Kate jump from the roof today. I don't have anything deep or smart to say, I just want you to know that you were a good friend to her. And I wish she had more friends like you. You've been good, you've been so good to me when everything else is so fucked up and I'm here for you always. I miss you, Trev. 
Thank you so much for thinking of me. I keep seeing Kate jump and I feel like I could have done more to save her. Even Matt Schofield did more than anybody to try to save Kate. I can't wait to see you tomorrow and you are just as good you are just as good for me as you think I am for you. Dreaming of you tonight, Dana. Was there anything else on the laptop that I had to see? Aww. If Dana talks to Juliet about this, she's gonna wish she didn't. Dana, I hope you're doing okay after today. I don't want to bother you, but I'm writing an article about Kate for the paper and I, I wanted to know if you could answer just a few short questions. It seems like there are too few answers. Let's talk when it's convenient for you, okay? Hope you're well. Sincerely, Juliet. Hi, Juliet. I know you want to find out more about Kate, but I'm still kind of in shock. I'm mourning. I don't think you'll get too many answers so soon after what happened today. And maybe it's better to keep a low profile for the moment, Dana. If Dana talks to Juliet about this, she's going to wish she didn't. Oh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. Since I've crossed the line from Snoop to Detective, those boots are made for walking runways. These socks cost more than my wardrobe. I'll title this one, Portrait de la Assholes. Whoa, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. Hmm. Here they are getting loaded with Satan. That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. Victoria's secret, she's a geek. Well, well, maybe Victoria isn't a monster after all. From Victoria to Taylor, hey sweet tea, what up? I'm just avoiding some lame ass science homework. How can anybody go do fucking homework after seeing somebody jump to their death? I can't believe we all saw it happen live. It was like watching a reality show and I've never seen the campus so quiet. Like everybody's hiding or crying. I feel like total shit for everything I said about Kate in that stupid video. Let's get some peeps to meet up later. This girl needs a serious curfew cocktail, we'll drink the Kate V. From Taylor to Victoria. I'm sorry too Victoria, I can't stop seeing Kate fall. I need a drink stat, let me know the time. Is there anything else on there, story? Well, well, maybe Victoria no. isn't a monster after all. Anything else? First Rachel and now Kate? This is the end of the Vortex Club. Victoria is about as straight as me. But she really appreciates style. Whoa, I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the chase space. Color me impressed. Hey, Max. I, I saw you go up on the roof to try to help Kate. I can't believe she jumped. I know. Victoria must be upset since I saw her sneaking out of the dorm past curfew. Oh, man. Like, you saw her? She was so, like, nervous when she left the dorm. She wouldn't even tell me where she was going. Probably to hell. Well, I have to go crash. <laughs> it's been a rough day, as you know. Thanks, Max. And I hope you're okay, too. You were the only one who tried to save Kate. Victoria was wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later.
I hope Victoria feels particularly shitty about posting that link. Okie dokie. Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. She jumped. Very sad. Oh, the most magical insects. Burn bright. Principal uh, Wells. Oh, are you serious? I'm, I'm toast there. if he sees me. Nobody can expel me. Not yet. Don't want to bother you, just checking in to see how you are. I know today was hard, but you did more than anybody else could ha could have to help Kate. I'm proud of you. And please, no worries about going into um, going to the drive-in. But if you want to escape to a planet of apes, let's go. And if you need to talk, I'm always here. Thanks, Warren. I'm still processing. Plus, I got Mr. Jefferson kicked out of his own contest like a jackass. I'll call you later, Kate. Max, please call us as soon as you can. We know this is a painful. And we, we know this is painful, and we want to know how you are. So please get get in touch. And if you want to come and spend some time back home, the door is open and your bed is made. We love you. I'll call you right away. Love you. It was so good to hear your voice. Remember what we talked about. You were there for your friend when she had nobody else, and Kate made her own choice. Nobody could expect more than what you could. Nobody could expect more than what you did. You're our hero and we love you so much, Maxine. Call us any time if you need to talk or visit. Try to remember what part I've seen. Um. I don't think I've read any of that. Yeah, that's the last part. Kate Marsh killed herself. My hands are still shaking, but I have to write this down while I can. Right at the start of Jefferson's class, Kate went to the roof of the girls' dorm to jump. Every student and teacher was watching her, like it was a Blackwell rooftop concert. I saw her actually jump, but I was just about able to use my rewind to get her back on the roof. I tried harder than I ever did, and somehow I stopped time completely. I made it to the roof, but again my head felt like it was going to blow up. I knew that I couldn't just keep rewinding to save Kate. I had to try and talk her down on my own. I failed. She was already in so much pain over the video and all the bullying, so she wasn't going to buy everything I tried to tell her. You see movies with people trying to talk to somebody out of suicide, but it's very different when I'm the one doing the talking. Because she didn't believe me, or maybe she just didn't want to. Aye, I tried. Kate still died. It was like that cliche about everything moving in slow motion, except in my case it was real time, not rewind time. I could see Kate's face right as she jumped and I'll never forget that look in her eyes, like she didn't want to, but had no choice. It was a look of total defeat and despair, then I could see her body flailing in space like she became aware of what she was doing and got more scared. Jesus, I can't believe I'm writing these words. After she jumped it was so weird that I was, all alone. I was alone in the roof. 
Kate was there then gone. I could hear the crowd screaming below and there was no way I was going to look at her body on the ground. I felt so numb, I just casually turned and went back down the stairs. My head was pounding and my body was exhausted from the rewind. I felt exactly like a zombie must feel, dead inside. When I stepped out of the dorm, I saw Kate splayed on the ground. She was surrounded by paramedics while the police kept the students back. I hope they all got a good look at the victim. They wanted to watch her in a viral video when she was alive and now they wanted to gawk at her in death. Not that I did anything to help her stay alive. All my amazing new superpowers were worthless. I'm nobody's hero. I'm not, it's not enough that Kate is dead and I'm numb inside. I had to get the Blackwell third degree from Principal Wells. It was bizarre to be in his tacky office with Nathan, Nathan Prescott, David Madsen and Mr Jefferson calmly talking about why Kate jumped off the roof. I was like a robot just going through the motions. I kept seeing Kate's face as she fell. Somehow I ended up telling the principal that I had seen Kate crying after she talked with Mr Jefferson. I wasn't trying to blame him, I just thought it was important information. Maybe I fucked up, narking on the one person I respected most at Blackwell. I could see Mr Jefferson was disappointed in me too. Obviously the principal was more upset because he pulled Jefferson out, for, out from representing the school at the Everyday Heroes contest. I didn't expect that at all. I'm so confused right now. How can I keep going to Mr Jefferson's class after I ruined his reputation? And do I still have to give him a photo for the contest? I need a vacation from my life. I hung out with Warren on the lawn so I could feel grass under my feet and watch the fluffy clouds. He's such a sweetheart. He kept telling me I did everything I could for Kate, even though I know I didn't. I told Warren that something ominous is happening at Blackwell Academy. Rachel Amber, Chloe and now Kate have all been victims, not to mention me if I keep playing amateur detective. Wish I could have told Warren about my power, but it's not the right time, no pun intended. And to make the day end on the most surreal note possible, the sky went dark and we watched a solar eclipse that was not announced on the news or any astronomy site. What was happening to Arcadia Bay? October 9th Dear Diary, I have the power to rewind time and I ended up on the rooftop trying to stop my friend from jumping off while trying to prevent the possible destruction of my hometown. I fell asleep at my desk and woke up reaching out to rewind or, or grab Kate. I remember when my journal entries were about which anime character I wanted to be or my dreams of being a respected glow-popping photographer or what, made, or what me and Chloe would be doing when we were finally adults. At least we know how that turned out so far. Chloe is determined to get to the bottom of what's going on, so I've been playing What Would Chloe Do, which means blowing off my Blackwell homework to research everything I can find on Kate Marsh, Rachel Amber and Nestine Prescott's. It would be too easy peasy if they were all connected, but at this point, I think the whole town of Arcadia Bay is connected to this crazy shit. I can already see the story on the National Geographic channel, mystic, scientific or apocalyptic, the Arcadia Bay tornado. Shudder. Speaking of fear, I can still see Kate in her sad, hopeless eyes on that roof. I can't believe she's not here anymore. I hear some students are organising a petition for Blackwell to set up a scholarship in her memory. That's the least this place could do for her. So that's cool that I got Mr Jefferson in trouble and he won't be representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes contest. I don't blame him for what happened to Kate. Yes, he should have listened to her, but it's not fair he can't attend the event. Now the winner has to hang out with Principal Wells. I hope Victoria wins, but one of my heroes pro one of my heroes probably hates me. Yay, Max. Leave it to Chloe to make me sneak out past curfew and demand I meet her in front of the main building in the dead of night. I knew Chloe would be all over investigating the campus after what happened to Kate here. This just makes Chloe more desperate to find out what happened to Rachel, if anything. It's funny that even though I think I can just remind myself out of trouble, I'm in more trouble now than ever before in my life. If this was a Twilight Zone story, I'd be, get, I'd be getting set up for some serious irony, like I'm going to remind myself out of existence or something. Can I honestly say I'll have this ability for the rest of my life? Are the tornado, the snow and that eclipse just hallucinations or are they genuine prophecy? More importantly, is this a curse or blessing? Chloe is alive and by my side and that has to be a miracle, which means there must be a way to stop my vision from coming true, right? So yes, I broke curfew to hook up with Chloe. She said she had something to show me. Looks like it's time for some serious detective work. Enter the Blackwell Ninjas. As I stealthily made my way out of the hall, I saw a shrine in front of Kate's door. I was surprised when it po just popped up right after she died. Like everybody at Blackwell suddenly felt guilty for how she was treated. I'm glad that so many people wanted to honour her. The cynical side of me says too little, way too fucking late. But I know that Kate would smile and forgive us all. Sigh, cry.
<sighs> feel sorry for myself when Kate Barsh's family is in mourning. They'll probably sue the Academy right out of Oregon. Now I understand why the students call this place Black Hell. I take it by him then. I think I need around time to be, to be four. I'm coming out. Right, run. I know I have a set of keys on me. Some Max the ninja strikes again. Yes. Okay. Oh my god, I got a fright in my life there. Get it? Booyah. <laughs> like a scary punk ghost. Well, like a scary and sensitive asshole. Chloe, I watched my friend jump off a roof today. I don't think you need to prank me tonight. You always trip out on me for not being there for you, but is this how you're there for me? I'm... I'm sorry, Max. I, I wasn't even thinking. I suck. I'm not trying to be a bitch, but I'll never get the image out of my head of Kate jumping off that roof. All because my power didn't work. It didn't mean shit. I know seeing Kate fall was horrible. I don't even know how to deal with that, so I just act like an idiot. But it's your badass power that's gonna bring all this to a close. We just need to connect the players and find out who really killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? I hope so, Chloe. But how? Snow and Eclipse are bad omens. This whole town is a bad omen. I noticed that Blackwell seems to be ground zero. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Mr. Jefferson in trouble. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? We need to find out more about who Rachel was involved with around here. She was able to blend in with everybody, even with people I hated. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Alive? I have to think that, Chloe. Her spirit is so powerful here. Maybe too much power. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, step prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just... I don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I imagine uh, you're pretty upset over Kate as well. I'm, like, still in shock. I've never seen anybody die. I really cared about Katie. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well... How does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? The contest will go on. I just won't be representing Blackwell at the event this year, thanks to Max. Who claims I enabled Kate Marsh's trouble by merely listening to her? I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. 
selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria. I won't be going to San Francisco, remember? You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Are you fucking kidding me? when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. Oh, I wonder what they're going to find. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. Dude... I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. Joking. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? We can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. Tell that to Kate. Come on. One more door and our work here is done. Can I look around first? I want to see if there's anything... perhaps missing? A long time ago, in a girl's room right here. Yeah. I'm a bit doing this a bit prematurely here. Only a B minus? Warren has shattered my faith. Of course, I'm barely passing science. Fear? I never said they were great, troll. Jefferson's classes across the hall, isn't it? Oh. What was that? It's just the photo. I say one stupid thing and Mr. Jefferson gets screwed. Nice going, Max. Dear Mark, I just wanted to drop you an informal note to let you know that Blackwell is conducting an investigation into the events of this week. You'll be receiving an official notice in the mail, but you deserve to be told about this now. I respect your work and status here at Blackwell and hope you don't think too harsh of me in this very difficult time. I hope this all works out in your favour. Raymond Wells. Oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer, said Max, the art critic. Victoria, that is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? Oh, what's this? 
I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work. But he does have some style. Victoria's cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. Only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. Is there anything in here? Nope. Nope, nothing. That's it. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit. Like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. Okay. Nothing here. Dead end. Crap. And if and then this one? Boring. Nope. I thought it said something else, sir. Huh? Moving up. Here are the keys. None for the principal's office. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. I guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank, but I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Is she on the phone? Warren? Hey, Warren. You busy? Just bubble hearth. You'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the hope. Damn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Okay, so... I need to find four objects, sugar and soda can, duct tape, sodium chlorate. Okay, so sugar, soda can, duct tape, sodium chlorate. Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. We should be able to get a soda can here. Release the crack can. There we go. It's all mine anyway. We need sugar. Only three more items to go. Sodium chlorate must be in here. Gross. I hate that formalin smell. Mm. Oh, here it is. Oh, science book. So, sodium chlorate is a weed killer. You'd think Warren would have told me that factoid. It's a weed killer. 
Oh, I know where we'll get that. That'll be outside. You're an artist, damn it, not a scientist. But this is so not sodium chlorate. Anything in here? This is like a scene in a horror film. I don't think there is anything in here, to be honest. Oh, duct tape. The tape is mine. Nice. So You're we need a sugar sure, and sodium chlorate. to see if we blow up. We need to go back out I think into the main area. Go to the this case locker. Oh Kate. Your locker looks so lonely. I think we need to go back outside and go to the janitor's office. If that's possible. Can we go out of here? No. I'm gonna get sugar. Can't go out there. Hmm, it's not letting me back out. And this is where I've already been. Room. There's no way David would get in Mrs. Grant's face. She'd shut his ass down fast. Dear Miss Michelle Grant, as head of security at Blackwell Academy, it's my job and duty to make sure all the, ba the bases have been covered when it comes to protecting the student body. I know I'm nobody's favourite among the faculty and students, but I know I'm making sure their safety is my prime directive. Since taking over as head of security, my statistics speak for themselves, as does the 15.4% drop in campus crime. I respect your position as a science teacher, but you've unfairly demonised my plans for a surveillance system with a curly petition. I hope that you will redact this peti petition and reconsider the human cost of not retrofitting Blackwell Academy with the latest of in safe and private security. Sincerely, David Madsen. All the sugar. Ooh, sugar. Only one more ingredient left. Here are the keys. None for the principal's office. Mm, where am I going to find weed killer? It's got to be in here somewhere then, because it won't let me back out. Wish I knew what periodic means. Oh, everybody's I asleep. I hate to wake them up, but I want a picture. Max, if you can't find so good evening, fish fish. Thanks, fish. Nice work. Is a weed killer here? No. Nope. 
Here. I probably should find those items now. No, this mixture doth not work. No. Please resume your slumber. No, there's definitely nothing in here. Nope. Okay. Eh, what about anyway Max, here? if you can't find sodium chloride in the science lab, give it up. I take it the tail the that same hinting to me that I can't I'm not going to find it anywhere else. It must be because I'm definitely not going to find it in here. I'll, bo I'll go back to Chloe. See what she's got to say because I doubt there's anything in the lockers. That's just a poster. Talk to Chloe. Where am I going to find weed colour? can't find sodium chloride in the science a long time ago in a girl's room right here. It's not letting me out. I am ready to kick this door in the balls. Chloe's <laughs> getting frustrated. to look this up guys because I'm going to stuck. Science lab. This is a science lab, isn't it? It says here that it's next to the Oh there it is, look. Typical. Here's the sodium chloride box. So I don't need to move. I did. I you know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. Nice. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! If you'll light the candle. This is so cool! 
Get ready to haul ass. Oh god. That was so fucking cool. Oh, oh no. Toast. Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? Well, we need to go and search. Oh crap. Do something, Max. Right. Before I give her the pipe bomb, I need to... I'm gonna need to dis disassemble the alarm somehow, Anna. Where is the alarms? Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Can I go out? I just stop the alarm. It's not doing it that way. Too late. A button or something. Shit, shit. Do something, Max. Oh god, what did I do? Must be something in here. She can't cheat with a reason. Oh, ah, right, okay. Welcome to my domain. You are magic! I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. <laughs> the company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money, but no taste. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. <laughs> this is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. Can I put a light on? It's pitch black. Yes. What? This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. 
Student Information Sheet, Kate Beverly Marsh. GPA 3.9. Kate Marsh represents the very best of the students at Blackwell Academy. Her GPA is consistently outstanding along with her optimistic attitude and quiet work ethic. Her ex extracurricular activities with the Meals on Wheels programme has been acknowledged on KB7 News and her diverse religious studies group has been a welcome addition to the wide range of student-led spiritual programmes at Blackwell. She also has one of the best attendance records in the school's history. Principal Wells, as a school nurse, I should inform you that Kate Marsh appears to have experienced some recent emotional or physical trauma. I spoke to her briefly and she was upset and but vague and refused to talk further with me. I think it's important that we keep our eyes on her and make sure that she's not under duress from other classmates, as is my suspicion. Regards, Anne-Marie Brenchy. Update. At present time, there is a security investigation into a controversial video allegedly featuring Kate Marsh at a Vortex Club party that has been uploaded onto the internet without her knowledge or alleged consent along with her claim of being taken to hospital during the party. See the attached files for complete details. How do we see the attached files? Only oh. two more files to go. Wowzer, this will so not come in handy. I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. And nothing here. Mm. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Student information sheet, Rachel Dawn Amber. Update, unfortunately Rachel Amber has stopped has stopped attending class for the past month and she's left no contact with students or faculty for the past month. Her parents are at the present unaware of her whereabouts and Blackwell hopes for her re quick return to continue her academic excellence. Brief summary, Rachel Amber is the quint quintessential student representation of Blackwell Academy. She excels in all of her studies and extracurricular activities which are numerous. Popular with both students and faculty, she has the de facto qualities of scholarship and leadership that is a hallmark of Blackwell's legacy. Her diverse goals include a career in international law and fashion modelling. There is no doubt that Rachel will achieve all of her dreams with Blackwell as a ful fulcrum. Principal Wales, this is Lieutenant Chris Rossi. Just wanted to let you know that Rachel Amber's investigation has officially been closed on her end. We always hope for that one magic clue, but once again, Arcadia Bay covers up another secret. We always keep our eyes and ears open, but that's all we can do from now. Thanks for all your help. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. Chloe Price is a problematic student at Blackwell, despite the best efforts of the faculty and administration to guide her academically. Chloe does little homework and is often willfully belligerent to her teachers. She's caused numerous class disruptions and inappropriate comments and rude gestures to fellow students. She was recently suspended for spray painting graffiti in the parking lot. Even though Chloe is an intelligent student with potential, she chooses to squander in, squander it on an empty rebellion against a non-mandatory institution. Chloe Price is no longer a student at Blackwell. See attached police reports. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Nathan Prescott continues his family's historical legacy at Blackwell Academy with a stellar academic record and a variety of extracurricular activities, including work with the Academia Bay Homeless Fund. Nathan is also popular with students and faculty. He stands as a proud representation of Blackwell. Oh, I think we found it. Like I'm not gonna, like I'm not gonna read my own personal file. Yes. Max, as she prefers to be called, is considered a quiet, attentive student with much potential for her photography. Her GPA fluctuates and she has acknowledged she should be doing better. Her teachers back up her quiet intelligence, though some complaints find her too nervous and nosy. Some faculty members would like Max to speak up more in class and be more assertive. Others would like her to be less so, but this is a common student suggestion rather than a specific recommendation. Despite some recent conf oh, sorry, confrontations, with Blackwell security, Max tried to success unsuccessfully stop fellow student Kate Marsh from jumping off the dormitory roof to her death today. At this time, there is an ongoing police faculty investigation, but Max's bravery is undisputed. Uh, 
two seconds. Wait and stay. So cool to stop the holes when it's dark and quiet, even with so many terrible things happening all around us. It felt like Chloe and I were walking towards the centre of a great cosmic mystery, something bigger than any of us. But we kind of suck at master spies since we didn't have a key for the principal's office. No worries, with my rewind power at hand, and of course Dr Warren Graham. He came through with a bitchin' mini bomb made of sodium what the fuck ever. I probably learned more putting those ingredients together than the entire semester so far. Sorry Miss Grant, Warren is a star student here. He tries so hard to help, maybe too much, but what's wrong with that these days? I'm so grateful he's on my team. Oh, there's so many things I need to take photos of. I guess being a bully is in the Prescott DNA. Principal Wales. It's come to my attention the Prescott family crest has been removed from the library wall for no apparent reason. This local hysterical crest is required as per the donation terms to the library, or the donation will be rescinded, among others, for the school. Along with that, I understand that the traffic event involving Miss Marsh gives you pause, but I would suggest that cancelling Thursday's party is not conductive, not conducive to the can-do spirit of Blackwell Academy. I expect you to reconsider and come to the same obvious conclusion. Thank you, Sean Prescott. Mm, what else is here? Later. If I would have signed the petition, I could have made the difference. Dear Miss Grant, as principal of Blackwell Academy, it is my sad, unpleasant, regrettable duty to inform you that your petition to block the new surveillance system has come up literally a handful of votes short. It is not my policy to take sides in these matters, as we encourage the faculty and student body to participate in their school's operation. I recognise the controversial nature of these cameras and rest assured they will be implemented with the utmost concern for privacy. Thank you for your passion and for inspiring Blackwell students to make their voices heard. I hope they will not be too discouraged by the outcome of your petition. We are proud of them. Best, Principal Wells. You're not so tacky up close. Photo? I have to take a photo of that. I'm sure I have. No. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott III. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? The Prescotts always get their money's worth. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This'll chill him out after our knife showdown yesterday. No. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. Oh. 
You really want to take money from the handicapped fund? I know you need to pay Frank back, but... I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse-choking wad of cash. But yes, Moral Max is right again. I guess. Let's get the hell out of this office morgue. I know that money would have helped Chloe and me. I'm just going to take a photo of that. That's definitely the bronze hawk. So I need to take a photo. You're not so tacky up close. Take a photo. Why is, she, why is she not doing it? You need to turn the computer off. I won't let me take a photo. Oh well. That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. You didn't let me take that money to pay off Frank, so if he pops a cap in my skull, at least allow me to have a little carefree fun for a few minutes. Splish Splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish Splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think <laughs> I'm a good bad influence on you. Fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. I would love a soda, but I just get wired. Go, Otters. This is here. I hope the otters will survive. If only I could solve the mystery of the missing cat picks. Reward desperate for my stolen backpack with school books and new tablet. I need this for class and my tablet has private pics of my late cats, RIP. So I will pay a cash reward, no questions asked. If you have any details I would like to return the backpack, you have my contact info now, please. That's sad. I actually don't have the time to investigate this caper. I admit I'm a goofball and misplaced my flexi wave swim goggles. I've found a tenor gratitude in a 25 bean hip cafe gift card. Contact Ray Siren. Boys or girls? Girls, of course. Girls? Ooh la la. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. Oh, she beavers. The wit, it burns. A bus ticket? Was she going to run away? Like Rachel Amber? Hmm. Flippers in a swimming pool? Are they training Navy frogmen here? Those look like the most cozy, comfy towels in towel history. Want? Oh, who's look at us? Brooks? Looks like Brooke wants to go to the drive-in with Warren. Was that everybody's? Where does that other sock go? Oh. 
Those are some musty ass old shirts. Yuck. So, Victoria's secret is selfies. Go fuck your. No. Jefferson said, don't confuse art with the artist. These are cool shots. There's everything in here, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, back out. This isn't a desperate cry for attention or anything. Sorry, Rachel. Ooh, pink goo. I see why everybody brings their own soap. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> You wish, Max. You just look like a snoop. No, you don't. What's this in here? Well, that's a pill. Is there anything else in here? A miracle to save Kate would have been nice. I hope so, friend. Nothing else. I wonder if there's anything in here I can see. In case I run out of air, I know where to come. Don't even think I'm gonna make a move on you. Yes, we get it. Otters. Coffee and swimming. Good combo. That's pretty. So, the big plan is... win. Look at the baby Halloween pumpkin. <laughs> I don't think anybody has ever drowned here. Chloe, you hear me, right? Time to do or dive, Max. Is this still the girls' one? No, this is the boys now. Huh, it's nice to know Victoria loves something besides herself. Welcome to 1950. I bet you do. Sometimes. Some poor hipster lost their vape. It's okay for Nathan to be hooked on these drugs. Right? This must be for training kids. I guess somebody forgot their Blackwell spirit. I guess I should consider this evolution. Dana, I know I'm an a-hole, but it's okay to be you, Wolf Hogan. Betty developed that in Jefferson's class. But why? Was it kind of tissue? Sometimes. Boys locker room is right. Huh, it's nice to know Victoria loves something besides herself. I'm just showing my own. He'll appreciate that kind of humor. Just when I thought it was safe to go back in the water. There's a shark in the water.
Looks like I'm the Vortex Club bouncer. Decisions, decisions. Right. No running, it says all the way around the side of the film, what madden. I'm running. Don't tell me I can't. Oh, I thought I was going to need another way back there. Oh, yeah, baby. It feels like a hot tub. Too bad you made me feel like the queen of assholes because I wanted that cash stash. Tell me you're not going to stand there watching me like a zombie. Don't you dare! Come stop me, hippie. Okay, you asked for it. Why look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. <laughs> I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's Revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out why for Kate's sake. She didn't deserve to die. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like this force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Not that time. But that's because you were there to kickstart my power. So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected since without me you would have never discovered your power, right? Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. Warren is... nice. <laughs> nice? Ouch. That means friend zone. No, he's really cool. It was so sweet when he stood up to Nathan. But I haven't told him about my rewind power. No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other, Otter versus Shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's jet. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. Get the fluffy towels. Gross. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Oh no. Hi. Hi. Oh sugar. Have to go now. Are you shitting me? Oh god, that's David Madsen, of course. Dude, hide! Like when we were kids. I could use my power. Or just look for a hiding spot. Or both. 
I can't see a thing. Try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. Who's here? I got I got a flashlight and a stick. Hey! Oh shit. <laughs> Am I supposed to do this? Try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. Who's here? I got I got a flashlight and a stick. Hey! Who's caught me again? Try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. Who's here? I got I got a flashlight and a stick. We are so invisible. What's veil? I don't think I was ever going to get out of that there. Wait! Oh no! Turn around! They're coming! We have to find another way out! Oh, this is bullshit! You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? Uh, okay. Into the car!
Always remember this moment. Photo bomb. Photo hog. <laughs> it feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. So wiped out from last night, but it was awesome. I have to ponder what kind of criminal I've become. Last night was only the tip of the iceberg. I have to admit, it was pretty cool to take over the Blackwell gym. <laughs> Today the gym, tomorrow the world. We need to step it up. We still have to be careful how I use my power. I don't want to get stuck in time. Okay, I need to get dressed now. Ugh, still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. I can feel it when we kiss. What was Warden saying? Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. Why? Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. Oh man, that was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. Okay guys, I think I'm going to end it there now. I'm really, really enjoying this story. Like I say all the time, there's just so much to take in. Um, but it's amazing. Love it. So thank you very much to anyone that came on and joined and had a, a watch of the gameplay. Um, we will continue to upload the gameplay onto YouTube as well and we will always put on Instagram whenever we're going live. So thank you so much to everyone again. I hope you enjoy the rest of your Saturday and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!